So welcome to Creations by Karen and today we are going to make a snowman wreath. And it is July, obviously, uh, but you know, people want a Christmas in July, so I do what my people want. So I'm going to be using a few things, uh, not a whole lot of stuff, but a few. Uh, I'm going to use a Unique in the Creek character board, okay? Unique in the Creek character board. And I've already affixed my snowman face on here. Good morning. Um, so they have a lot of different, um, a lot of different centers you can put on. This is the one I really liked. He's cute. And I am going to be using this type of mesh. And this is called snowman mesh. And you can get it, good morning Debbie. Um, and it is quite thick, but it's good, all right? So um, you're gonna use about a roll and a half of this, all right? Good morning, Mary, are you ready? <laughs> so I posted um, on my Facebook page what you needed to make this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it for you today. So the first thing I wanna do is cut my mesh. So I am cutting my mesh at about 16 inches. And if you're looking here, good morning, Jan, um, this is just a grid that I made myself, all right? You don't have to buy, go out and buy one. You can just make it with some poster board and a piece of glass. Now look what happened. I got a big crack in my glass, and that's because I ironed on it. Apparently it's not tempered glass. So I'm just going to take my wood burner, and you can get these at Michael's. Just use your coupon. And I'm going to cut it at 16 inches, all right? Like this. So you just come down. Try to follow the line of the mesh and cut it at 16 inches. All right, I'm gonna show you again. 16 inches. There's one. I'm gonna show another one. Good morning, good morning. And here's the other one. 16 inches. So when this, I'm at the end of a roll, so what I like to do is just place something on it, just stick it down, and then just come down. Good morning. So if you come on and are watching this, you might want to say hi or something. Because you never know what might happen if you don't. You could miss out. All right. So I'm going to cut one more. Once again, it's 10 inch mesh. I'm cutting it at 16 inches. And you don't have to use a wood burner. It just helps with the fray. Because mesh will fray. Good morning, good morning. I see 42 of you people on here, and I don't have 42 people that have commented, so just say hi. Tell me where you're from. If you're new, say I'm new. So just come down with your wood burner, because I'm using a wood burner because I don't like fray, and just come down, all right? So you're going to need two, two rolls of this. You're only going to need a roll and a half. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Michigan and Newfoundland, Oklahoma. Look at all you guys. Nice to see ya. Okay, so there's your mesh, right? Put this aside. Okay, so the next thing, this is going to be a lit uh, wreath, right? So, got my Unique in the Creek round uh, character board. You love this wreath. I love it too. I had one at the, um, good morning, good morning, from the, at the market yesterday. Oh my gosh, crazy people there. Fun though, it was fun. So you know me, the first thing I do when I'm making a wreath is put the um, hanging thing on it, okay? Just getting a white Chanel stem because I'm using white mesh. So here's the top of it. And I, I drill a little hole in here between the two, but you just wanna put this in like this, okay? And then just come around the back Give it a twist, twice is fine, and then feed that through here so you don't have anything showing at the back of the wreath. Chatham was awesome. It was awesome. They're awesome there. Yep. And then just snug it up here. Yeah, it was good. So you see my arm? Like I got all these wounds on my arm. My sister has a new puppy. I stayed at her house on um, Friday night because the, the um, <clears throat> time's about uh, an hour and a bit from where I live. Uh, so instead of getting up at the crack of dawn, I went down and stayed at my sister's place. Good morning, Annette. Um, and and uh, her new puppy, Bella, cutest thing ever, a little beagle, 
um, uh, is very excitable and likes to lick and nip. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my lights on. And these are lights that I got from Unique in the Creek. You could order the, you could order the, the uh, flower board or the character board, the vinyl, the ribbon. Most of the time you can get this mesh, but you, they don't have any in right now. Just keep watching for them and they'll come in. Um, <clears throat> anyways, these are battery operated. And I've already put the batteries in. It's important to put the batteries in first because you want to be able to turn it on and know that it's going to light up. Right? There we go. They are all lit. We picked your pup up on Friday night. Um, now, uh, yeah, so... Do you have 20 on here and you only have 16 holes around here? Well, you have actually 32, but 16 around the outside row. Uh, so what I decided I did was I decided I wanted to go two to the left. So, yes, I'm still sitting. I'll get up in a minute. And just pull, bring this light in and just feed these through. So the back is... I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't, I didn't have to worry about putting it around. I've seen people do it a different way. I think this way is okay. You love your snowman. You do. I know. You got one last year. I tell you, this one uh, was my biggest seller last year. Cr like crazy biggest. I couldn't make enough of them. I couldn't get enough mesh. Um, um, I, knew, I knew that it would be good this year too. So at the end of last season, I picked up all my hats. Um, I obviously didn't buy enough because people want to have workshops doing this. So yeah, so you're just feeding this. Um, I'm just feeding this light thing through. And I think it's good to get the small ones because you can do this. You can use any other kind of lights. I think last year I used different ones. But this year I'm using these. And you just, you just got to feed this through this hole. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> Kim, I don't know why you were a top fan. Good for you, though. I don't have any control over that, Kim. You're so excited. He's so cute. He totally is cute, Bobby. And yes, I will be doing uh, workshops on this. Absolutely. Um, did one last year. It was, it was awesome. But I'm going to be doing more this year, I tell you. Okay, so as soon as you get your 20 through here, like I said, I'm just pull, pushing it through. And I just went two to the, from the center. Good morning, good morning. Okay, this looks good. This might take just a bit longer than an hour, guys. But, you know, you guys wanted to see it, so I'm doing it. All right. This is my last one. Okay, I'm not worried about this um, battery pack. All right? So I'm just going to lay that there. So what I want to do is take some uh, tape. Let's see what I've done with my tape. I did have tape. My cat likes to take away with stuff. Um, tape. I need to have tape. I know I had it here. What the heck have I done with it? Here it is, under the mesh. So just take little pieces of tape, and you don't have to worry about these being perfect, okay? So what I like to do is just place it so that the just the tip of the light, look here, is touching that white. And I just tape it down, okay? Now on four of them, I'm going to leave a little extra room because um, I'm going to put more on. Good. Okay, so there you go. So here's your patch pack, and just come around and put all your tape on. And don't worry about this tape, because there's going to be stuff that's going to hold this in place if this tape comes apart. So just place your... Get rid of that. <clears throat> just place your lights down. And I'm going from start to finish on this guy. The only thing that I have done ahead cut the mesh and I did most of the um, um, kerfuffles I think they call it if I'm wrong on that let me know Good morning everybody 
Okay, so you don't you try not to cover the little holes when you're putting these down. So you just come around, and then once I've got this one, I stick it on the top, so I'm not fighting with it. Like it, I do too. I just put this down here. So if you're doing this with me, um, you need the lights, of course. You can actually put these on the, like, you don't have to feed them through the holes like I did. You can just um, put it at the top and then bring, bring that around. You won't see it. I just, you know me, I'm a little OCD. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see everybody this morning. It's raining here in Canada, London, Ontario, Canada. Raining. Just fine. My grass needs it. So just putting my lights on. Where did you purchase the hat? Um, I bought my hat at Party City last year at the end of the season, after Christmas. Oh, I think it was after New Year's. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the hat too. This might be a little bit longer tutorial than normal, but you guys wanted to see this from start to finish. I know I got my comments sparking. I know, right? Don't know how I did it. I don't know. I went to my, um, I asked on my VIP group. I belong to a special group of uh, people that make wreaths and stuff, crafts, and uh, ask them. And how do you sign up for your workshops? Well, um, are you from, Kim, are you from uh, a London, around London, Ontario? So, I usually post it on my page. And a lot of people have asked me if they uh, if they could have workshops at their house. Yes. Um, I think as of Thursday, you can have 25 people inside, so that might work. Um, so in the past, I've done workshops where I've gone to someone's house and they've had like six or eight people come. And I, if they have the space, I guess, um, and just do the wreath at their place. Um, but I'll have wreaths, um, workshops, at different areas around London. You have a lot of friends in London. Okay. Well, I do, uh, I belong to the Army Navy Veterans Club. And um, I do workshops there when we can, of course. And uh, that's a good place because they give me a designated space for it and it's good. And I could have quite a few people there. I've done them in the past there. Well, it's good there. All right, we're almost to the end of our going around here. So you see how they're looped? Loop, de loop. And we're going to put tie wraps on here, and that's why I don't need to really worry too much about the placement. Okay. So now I'm coming into my existing one. I'm going to move that battery pack, place this here. And I'm just going to the other side of the one I've placed down. So you get a little extra light on the top, which is fine. Everybody following so far? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you're following it. I like to see it. So I'm just not babbling to Lexi. Talking about Lexi, can somebody go find my cat, please? If you're on here and you're watching it, can you go find my cat? Thank you. Make sure you say hi when you come on. Look at your thumbs up, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't need to worry about putting the tape over the, the light itself. Okay, so just come around. I know he's terrible cute. And here we go. You guys see okay what I'm doing with my little guy? Give me a thumbs up if... Do you do put the workshop times? Yeah. Hi. Okay, you found my cat. Awesome, Taff. <laughs> All right. Where's the, I need one more here. There we go. One more. One more is down. Okay, so now you got your lights on. Right? One more check to make sure they're good. And these are lighted, so as soon as you turn them on, they go off after six hours. And then at the same time, the next day, they go back on. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, Virginia. I can't say that word, but that's what find my cat means. 
All right, so there we go. There's the lights on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put the tie wraps on. And I use six inch tie wraps and I'm going to put them from the back. So what I like to do is just come in. This is the top. So I come into this one and I'm going to put these in closed. Okay. Closed means that uh, I'm not going to zip, put them together. Now this is uh, the slow way to put these in and I'll show you a faster way. Okay, so I put, see it's a flat end, and then I do this from the bottom. Okay, so there's what your first row looks like doing it old school. Right, so I got my tie wrap set. But it, what I find really easy is just to do it from the back. So I just come from the back, put this through, and if you curl them sort of like this, you can fit them in most of the time. All right, so we're just going to do this, put it in and put it in. All right, you just want to make sure the flat side is up. It looks good, thank you. It's going to look way better very shortly. So just put your tie wraps in. This one I'm going to have to do this way. I think I'll just do it this way, come around. Just to save a bit of time, I would do it the other way. But you guys wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm just going to put these in here like this. So there's 16 on the one row and 16 on another. So there's three holes. So you're going to use 32 pieces of 16 inch mesh. Snowdrift mesh. Good morning, Carla. It's called Snowdrift mesh. And I had quite a bit of it here because I bought a lot of it last year. See how I'm catching that bottom of the, um, the light in this mesh or this tie wrap? That's what's going to keep it sort of together if your tape comes across. All right. So bottom... And then top and this just saves you when you're putting your mesh in that you don't pick up the wrong end I'll show you what that means I'll explain that as I'm going along and once I get all these in I'm gonna stand up and put the mesh in for you guys okay Lexi's so I can I can hear can you hear that tink 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 that's my cat she's in the laundry tub uh, I wash my brushes out if I'm using brushes to Mod Podge or whatever, and I put them in there. And she likes to play with them, but she can't get them out. I have them in a big vase. She can't get them out. And she tries, man. Woo. Good morning, Judy. Yeah. So once again, you're just putting your tie wraps in. And once again, I get these tie wraps at Unique in the Creek. I buy them in a bag of a thousand because I use a lot and but they do have bags of a hundred so if you go to uniqueinthecreek.com that's where you can get the flower boards the vinyl different kinds of snowman vinyl um, oftentimes you can get mesh there but I couldn't get any more of the snowman mesh or snowdrift mesh I'm sure they'll have more good morning and uh, the lights you can get there. Yeah, you can get almost everything there. I'm sure they probably have Chanel stems. I get mine at Michael's just because, you know, I get the big, big bag of them. So coming around, guys. All right. So this is the part that takes really the longest, is putting all this stuff together. Hey, everybody. Good to see everybody today. Make sure you say hi when you come on. It's important today. You know, I do some stuff. Like sometimes I do stuff. All right. Put this through. So someone asked me if I would be doing a kit for this snowman. That could happen. Sorry, I need a drink. 
I could very well do the kits. Hi, Stacy. Would that be something you guys are interested in? So kit, hi Dave. So kit means that everything you need to make the mesh or to make the snowman would be shipped to you instead of you me me shipping an entire snowman. And like, let me tell you that <clears throat> just uh, sending. Good morning, Karen from Philadelphia. This is your first time I've seen you live. Well, welcome. Welcome, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, so I think kits would work um, if I can get everything I need. So I think they would, I, you know, what do you think? Should I send the kit with the mesh cut already or should I send the just a roll in a bit? What do you think, guys? Let me know. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Hi, Kim. Saw the Tim's coffee. Yeah. Well, it's actually just a cup. But yes, I do buy. Actually, I buy Starbucks coffee. Okay. Oh, uh, hang on a second. I got uh, I got a long one here. I got to read it. Let me just see. Where did you get the hat? Um, I got the hat last year at Party City. Whoops. Mesh cut. Already cut. Okay. Super. Where did you get the hat? At Party City. On the zip tie, do you close the outer row pulled to the outside and inner row pulled to the center to close? So I leave them open. Um, I'll show you as we go along, Nina. Okay? Hang tight. I would like it with the full roll. Okay. Roll so we can feel we are making it. Well, you are making it, my friend. Um, yeah, so I think I'll do that. Of course, it'll be two different prices for... Um, and then... You know, should I send a hat with it? Or sh can I leave that to you guys to find your own hat? Money, uh, you know, help me out here. You like the full roll. All right. So I'm only using a half a hat. So for full hat, you can get two. Are you in Canada? Yes, I am in Canada. So unfortunately, it'd be hard to ship to this. Well, I can ship it to the States. It's just crazy expensive. Shipping to can in Canada is also really expensive. Yes, to the hat. Um, oh, hang on. Are you using the outside holes? Hat. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm only using, I'm only putting mesh in the outside and then the one down. So I'm using all of the holes. I'm just putting them in. You're in Canada. Awesome. Love my Canadians on here. Love my Americans too. But I have people from everywhere. I have people from the UK, uh, people from Italy. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Somebody from, somebody from Australia, I think. I'm gonna put that aside for a second because I'm gonna show you how to make the mesh, do the mesh. Do you sell paint? No. No, I don't sell paint because I'm lazy and I buy the vinyl for it at Unique in the Creek. So here's my piece of 16 inch snowball mesh, snow drift mesh. You're happy to see me. I'm happy to see you too. Um, so I'm just going to put something to weight this for a second. That will work. Need a nose plier. So what I do when I cut my mesh, cut it in 16 inch length, this is a 10 inch roll, is I just make two and three rolls, right? And then I'm just gonna scrunch this up halfway. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go, so I do it different for you guys. So one, two, three, and put a close peg on it. Then spin it around and do the same thing on this side. So this kind of protects the ends, even though they have a wood burn on them. Good morning, Jerry. Um, they still will fray. So my, my advice to you is don't play with your mesh, right? So that's curl side up, folding it, right? But to put it down on the wreath board, I'm going to turn it over and place it down on my board, curl side down, right? So there's up down and I'm going to place it in my top 
um, tie wrap. Okay? So just put it in. Pull it tight. I like to use my needle nose pliers. And then I got my handy zip tie cutter. Good morning from England. Well, my people from England. And just cut it off. All right? So that pulls it tight and cuts it off. All right? So there's my first one in. Okay? So I think what I'll do is I'll do one more and then I'll stand up and put you down so you guys can see how I'm doing it up close and personal. Right? So here's my 16 inch pieces. Curl side up. I'm going to make three rolls. Put my close pig on it. And then make three rolls. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is a cr called a kerfuffle petal. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. Kerfuffle? Curl and a ruffle? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. A kerfuffle. And then I just place it down. And snug it up. Get your little nose pliers. And just tighten it up. Okay, so there's my first one in. First and second. And you can see the holes right now. By the time we're done, my friends, you are not going to see those. Alright? So there's my first set in. Okay? It'll get better. So, <clears throat> I'm going to stand up and bring you guys down. Kerfuffle. Yeah. You can get them on Amazon. Yeah, the these. It's called the 10... G tuck. 10 G tuck. Alright. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. A little bit easier. There you go. Can you see? Get a good look to see if you guys can see this. So there's my. Let me fix this here. Okay. So there's my board. This is a little bit easier. Alright. So I have all my mesh already cut. Let me just... Okay, and I've already got it cut and, ker and kerfuffled here. Okay, see it? It's already done. So I'm just going to go in and place them down. So always go do the top one first. You do awesome work. Thanks, Maddie. Appreciate it. So there's my... Whoops. Got to make sure you do the right one here. Okay, place this down and just put it through and pull it tight. Okay, cut it off as you're going along and that way it's not in your in your way. All right, and I've got a whole couple of buckets of these. So once again, you need 32 pieces of mesh cut at 16 inches and I'm using snow I think it's called snowdrift mesh 10 inches wide 16 inches long okay cut them off as you go along make sure you're can you get the zip tie gun at Harbor Freight can you we don't have a Harbor Freight here but thanks for letting us know. My lights went off. There we go. I'm not going to put them on. It'll be a bit distracting. Good morning, good morning. How's everybody? Yeah, we're making a snowman. If you come to the party late, we're making a snowman wreath because people wanted Christmas in July. You know, and I try to do what you guys want, if I can, and if I have the stuff available for me. But if you're a crafter, and you do craft shows, you're already starting to work on Christmas and Halloween stuff, right? That one's trapped. I'm going to find it. Here it is. Making zucchini bread. Oh my god. Why you watch? I can honestly say I've never had zucchini bread. 
found out yesterday my son is having a little girl. Oh, nice. A little girl. That's awesome. You can make me a, a loaf of zucchini bread, Bobby. You have to make it gluten-free. I know, I'm one of those crazy gluten-free people. Not by choice, my friends. I would, you know, I would sever a foot to be able to eat gluten. I miss hamburger buns. I miss bread. I miss real beer. <laughs> Not beer that's gluten-free. Difference. So go, just go ahead and put all your kerfuffles down here. Make sure you cut your zip ties off as you're going around. Sorry I'm late. Um, where can we get the snowman center and the light squeeze? I got all of this at uniqueinthecreek.com. That's your go-to place to get the vinyl and the boards. It is uniqueinthecreek. Dot com. It's no problem you're late to the party. <laughs> now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can certainly go ahead and fast forward to the next part. So, is everybody here uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel? Can you guys do that today? Just go to Karen's Creations, Creations by Karen on YouTube. Sometimes they put cool stuff on there that you guys don't see. It's got to be diverse, so. Whoops. So if you put the wrong end in, you're going to know because you won't hear it click. Lexi's here. Somebody went and found my cat because she's back. Thank you. Are the inside holes left empty? No, ma'am. They're going to have the same stuff. That we've put on the outside on the inside so all the holes are got something in them so once again I don't know I think I'll do one more one or two more sets and then I'll show you again how to make the ruffle you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome so this takes a little bit. The hardest part about doing this wreath is um, getting everything ready. Like cutting the mesh. Putting I'm going to set this up here for now. Um, cutting the mesh. Putting the lights on. Um, yeah. Where did you put your light? What light? Um, from it's at the back. I'll show you in a minute. Just place it down and zip it closed. Yeah. So, like I said, the the hardest part is the prep. Not doing this part. This part's fun and easy. All right. So I like to kind of turn them. So I can see that they're both even. Just fit this in. You can fluff all this. No, that's see, that's not right. Okay, that's that's an error because I didn't cut this off. So if you don't cut it off, then you, you end up getting in trouble. You found my cat. Sweet. Well, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. Yeah, I try. I mean, when I first started to learn how to make stuff, um, I it took me a while to find people that I followed that made it sort of a way for you to actually understand how to do it. Um, and that's what I try to get to do for you people is do it in a way that you can follow it through and it's not confusing. Do you agree that it's really important that you find somebody that can 
do it at a base at a pace that you can follow along do you agree people give me a thumbs up if you agree to that because I can certainly go ahead and whip through these in 90 minutes right and um, at warp speed because if I'm just making a wreath you found my cat sweet um, by myself in my basement I mean I could probably do one of these in from start to finish in about 45 minutes but you wouldn't have any idea what I was doing that's why it's important to take your time when you're showing people yeah he's pretty cute awesome 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 Yeah, you should get, if you're doing this and you're doing a lot of it, get one of these zip tie cutters. They're awesome. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Maybe, well, I know it wasn't horrible because I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, I think $20 or less is what I paid for that uh, zip tie gun. Well, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. clothes and cut them off as you go along. I mean, you don't have to. You can wait and cut them off. But I always try to find the easiest, fastest way to do something. Um, and I'm, if I'm constantly fighting, trying to put these um, down, it's time consuming for me. That's great, guys. Thanks. Thanks very much for finding my cat. They're out $15 on Amazon. Is that in Canada? Or is that U.S.? Good morning. Good morning. You're late. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad you showed up. Jennifer, it's good to see you. I'm making a snowman. I've already cut the mesh. Maybe I'll show you. i got one more piece of, um, of mesh that I haven't folded. So I'll go ahead and do that this next one here. Okay, so you just place it down, zip it close, and cut it off. I try to keep my work area as tidy as possible. It doesn't always happen. All right, let me move that aside. I'm going to show you again, guys, in the U.S., yeah? So it's going to be like $20 Canadian because, you know, our money isn't worth the same as U.S. All right, so here's my piece of 16-inch mesh, right? You want it curl side up, you're going to make three rolls and then put a paper or a close peg on it. <clears throat> Might want to put something there to hold it down in place because you're going to do the exact same thing on the end, other end. One, two, three, and then you're just going to scrunch these two together. Right? And if you're making a lot of them, you can just put a zip clothes peg on here. He's stinking cute, truly. Yes, he is. Stinking cute. I've decided to, this guy's name is going to be Albert. Albert? I don't know why I chose Albert, but that's the name I chose. Albert. Okay, got a few more to go. Once again, I've got all these made because, you know, we'd be here till Monday. Put these down. Zip it closed. Good morning, good morning. How to do a chat and lights. I put these lights on with scotch tape. I, sh I showed at the beginning, Melissa, you're finally here, Deb. Steve and Debbie, good to see you. Um, I showed you at the beginning. I just, uh, I got the lights from uniqueinthecreek.com and uh, feed, it, feed it through the back first and then place them down and scotch tape them in place. Do 
Good morning, Denise. Yeah, you can go back, Melissa, to the uh, beginning, and I showed at the beginning how to put them down. So that's what I said initially when we put them on that you you know you could see spaces. Once you get all these in, you're not going to see any spaces at all. And you could start with the top. You could start with the bottom. It doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer. Did you sell any wreaths at the craft fair this weekend? Um, so it's an outside market in Chatham, and yes, I did. Um, now, someone asked me about the setup I have about hanging the wreaths, because I have one of those tents. Um, because, you know, you never know. And it, like this market goes rain or shine, so you have to have a tent. Um, and what I did was just went to, I think I got, got them at Rona. And they're just extendable um, clothes rods for your, for your uh, you know, your wardrobe or your closet. Um, but I had to make sure that they were 10 feet, when they, they extended, they extended to 10 feet. Because my tent is 10 feet. Are you using 10 inch rolls of mesh? Yes, I am. I am using uh, Snowdrift Mesh, and it is 10 inches, and it's cut in 16-inch pieces. And you need 32 of them, which is about a roll and a half. So out of three rolls, you can get two wreaths. Where is this side? go. It's always nice to have your... How much are your workshops? Kim, it depends on the workshop. Um, so I think this year, probably, if the snowman... Oh, see, I put that in the wrong way. Now i got to fix it. Hang on. Hang on a second. So I think probably the workshop... I'm, don't quote me on this, but it... It will probably be lit, a lit wreath will probably be, be um, like with the lights. I'm going to go with probably $55 or $60 for the workshop. And then the unlit, like you can get it without lights, will, will be $5 cheaper. Because the lights are about $5 a piece at Unique in the Creek. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Just a few more to do. You guys still with me? Thumbs up if you're still with me. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I have a, a feeling I'm going to be quite busy with making these, doing these um, workshops for these snowmen this year. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Okay. Oh, just a couple more to go, and then we get to move on to the hat. I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to do the hat. So you can do it yourself. Because that's what this is all about, my friends. You guys just... You guys can make this. If I can make it, you can make it. I mean, I make a lot of them, so I'm quick. Yes, I make them quickly. But everything just takes practice. And you have to have a good teacher, I think. So, um, Lori from Unique in the Creek, she has uh, a Facebook page and she does YouTube um, YouTube um, videos. So go and check her out. And also, 
Did you use chain for your holes to hook them to the tent? Yes, I did. Yep, I used chain. I put the chain on the top one, and then I made a circle and put a nest hook on there, and then I put uh, a loop, and then I fed it through the bottom. So you got you get two, oh, two rows, right? Good morning, Jeannie. Would love to buy one. Okay. You don't want to make one, Jeannie? You can do this. <laughs> All right. So I'll let you guys know when I have kits available. Um, won't be for a bit because I'm waiting for a lot of stuff. It's hard to get stuff right now. No, I don't. Okay. I bought a bunch of hats at the end of the last year. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to buy things at the end of the season if you intend on doing this. Um, just to, like, for example, now is a really good time to buy spring and, or summer floral because it's all on sale. Um because they're starting to get all their fall stuff in. And I know it's just still July, but... <clears throat> I'll message you, Jeannie. Okay. All right. Just put this through. Place it down. One more set. See? One more set. Okay. Do you get your mesh from Unique in the Creek? Yes, I have had got mesh before from Unique in the Creek. I don't believe they have snowdrift mesh in right now. Um, I bought quite a bit of it uh, not too long ago, knowing that I would need it, of course. Um, but I, I don't, I think I went to their site um, yesterday and they didn't have any. I could be wrong, but I didn't see any. Okay, here's my last piece going in. Okay, last one. Last one. Going in. There we go. Cut it off. All right. So there is all my mesh in. I'm going to hold them up so you guys can see them. I'm going to turn the lights on. Oh, cute is he. All right. So here's what it looks like so far. Oh, lights out. I think I've just, there we go. All right. So here's my snowman. He might be on repeat. <laughs> okay. So take a screenshot of that if you want. Sorry, there's reflection. Yeah, Waterman's Loft is, uh, yeah, he is cute. Okay, I'm going to put him aside. Waterman's Loft is, uh, is in the States. Um, in Canada, the shipping from anywhere in the States is ridiculous. All right, I'm going to plug in my glue gun. Give me one second here. Because we're going to do the hat. I'm going to have that ready. Okay. Bring you guys back up a little bit so you can see me. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the hat. So, this is what you're going to need for the hat. You're going to need a hat. And I'm pretty sure that I got this hat at... I need one more ornament. Lexi, I think, has taken off with one of my... Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to get up in a minute. So this is what my hat originally looked like. 
right? It's just a hat. But I want to take off the ribbon because I don't like it. So you're just going to take it and cut this ribbon off. And it's stuck in two pieces. That's okay. There's your guide. So you just cut this ribbon off. Take it off. Come around and just cut it off here. Okay. So I want to cut this hat in half. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be close, all right, to half. But in order to do that, I don't want to get this involved with it. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to, I'm just going to, good morning. Could you see the back side? Sure, I'll show you the back side. When I finish the hat, I'll show you the back of the wreath. Okay, so all I did was take a pair of good scissors and I'm going to cut through this hat. And you can cut through these because they're just cardboard. Just come around. You want it kind of to be pretty even. down so there's one half and we'll do another one Dollar Rama sold those you bought a bunch good one good smart move Jerry so I'm just gonna cut this as well I'll just cut this through yeah, so you can get, I don't even know how much it cost me. I think maybe they cost me $3 each after Christmas. There we go. So this is how much I am throwing away. It's about an inch and a half. What size is the hat? It's like a regular hat. Like, it's no, like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how big it was. Fit on my head. It's a big, it's a big enough hat. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. Nice, ah, sorry, I can't I can't tell you how big the hat was. Alright. So the next thing you're gonna do, I've got these here. I am annoyed because I think my cat has taken off with one of those balls, and I need three. So I just take my needle nose pliers and I make two holes on the brim part, okay? And I just take my Chanel stem and I feed it through the holes that I've made. And I go about an inch in from the edge. You're not going to see this, right? But you need to be able to put something in so you could affix it to your wreath. Adult size. Yeah, it is an adult size hat. Just when the Christmas stuff comes out, they always have hats. I guess for people that put snowman on your yard, I don't know. Okay, so just feed this through. Give it a twist. Just one twist. And do the other side. So it's at this part that I'm putting the holes. You guys following me? Okay. This is challenging sometimes. Just poke through. Use your muscles. Use your muscles. And then feed your Chanel stem. And I'm using a whole Chanel stem. You certainly don't have to. I am. Okay, and give it a couple of twists. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Juana. Okay, so this is what you got. And the inside is just two Chanel stems sticking out. All right. Oh, lots of hearts. Love that, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this ribbon. So I really like this striped ribbon because it's just bright and pretty. So <clears throat> from trial and error, I realized that when you do it this way, like you start at one end and you come around and put it like this way, it bunches, right? And I want that. 
So I just put a little bit of glue in the middle, glue gun, and just put a little dab there. And just took my ribbon and placed it down there. So it's slightly up from the base here, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks, guy. Appreciate it. Right? So then what you want to do is you just want to take this and come around. And this stops kind of bunching from happening. And that was just trial and error. So you're coming a little bit down more onto the brim. But that's all right. So and then you're going to just put some glue here. And then just pull this tight and hold it for a second. <clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like one minute. You make my Sunday start off right. Oh, thanks, guys. That's nice. Hey, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday mornings as well. And then just do the other side. Might cut a little bit of this off. I cut my ribbon about 12 inches. Maybe that one wasn't 12 inches. Maybe it was a little bit more. And then just do the same thing to this side. Just glue it down. There you go. And just place this down. All right, so that's what you're left with. So now you have a ribbon on there. Now you can go in and cut this off if you want. I'm not going to. Useless. Cute hat so far. There's the inside. Okay. So I I just took some, like I had some pine around, like just an old wreath, and I clipped off these pine pieces. And I want to make like um one in the middle and one here and one here. So kind of like a, that kind of shape, right? So I just took my piece of garland, I guess, or whatever we're using, pine stuff from a wreath, place it on the back and just place it down. I kind of like to go off to one side. So you want the middle one to sort of touch the brim. See here, touching the brim. Got it? And then you take another one and just put glue on the back of it. And then you're going to make it come up on this side that's going to cover that glue that held your ribbon down. Because I figured if I went off to the side, I could put this down and it wouldn't show the glue that I put down. Right? So I had three of these. I only have one or two. Lexi has gone into that hat and taken off with one of these. Oh, she's different, I tell ya. So I'm going to have to get up and get another one. So I tried to be as, as uh, organized, I guess, as possible. So I'm putting this one on the other side. See it? I'm going to show you. Look. Just holding it so it stays down. Naughty kitty. Right, totally. Like, you can't leave anything. So here, uh, just a little tidbit of information about Lexi. She's a Maine Coon. So Maine Coons are um, very vocal. And they have a personality like a dog, honestly. <coughs> Alexi's favorite thing is to take anything, earrings, change, and throw it down the tub drain. I couldn't figure out for the life of me why my tub wasn't draining. Till I had a plumber come and he told me that he came down to the basement, did that, chucked that loop thing. Oh, do you believe what was in there? It was like embarrassing. 
But the cat, she didn't care. So now I have to keep the bathroom door closed. So here's just a little ornament that I got last year, little red ones. And I'm just going to cut this lip part off, right? <coughs> so I'm just going to clip it off with my pliers. And <clears throat> I'm supposed to have three of these. I don't at the moment. I only have two. So I'm going to have to jump up for one second and get another one. So give me one second. I'm just going to put that there. Be right back. So here's my little box of red ornaments or ornaments. I've got all sorts of stuff in here. Yeah, here's one. <clears throat> okay. Just take this part off and then cut this part off. The stuff, the part that's sticking out. Because you don't want it to stick out. Okay. How's everybody doing? Are you good? You following here, people? Okay. Don't be too aggressive cutting this off because you'll crack your ornaments. These are just plastic. I don't even remember where I got them. So I'm going to put them on my hat. So I'm going to put them on either side and then one down at the bottom. And I find the easiest way to do is just take your hot glue and just go around the sort of base of it. Be generous with it. Use Gorilla Glue, not Dollar Store Glue. So I'm going to go hold that one there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Getting ready to watch the England game. All right. I'll cheer for England today. Put it on another one. I have, I'm not a soccer, like I don't know much about soccer. Um, just put that there and I'm going to put one more at the bottom. And then I'm going to put it on the wreath. So it'll be done. We're at 10.04. I like it going over my hour. I always just allow myself an hour, but I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to go, I'm going as fast as you can, as I can, so you guys, but you guys still get it, right? That's key. And this is going down in, at the bottom. Okay, round we go. And that's it for my glue. <clears throat> I'm just going to place this down. Okay, cute. Look, three, one, two, three. They say things should be in three. I agree. I agree. So just make sure you hold this just for a second before it until it gets sort of secure on there. It's the kitty's fault, right? Oh, I could do it all day. Oh, you know, I could I could probably sit in my basement. This is my basement, right? Um, for ten hours a day, doing this, and be totally happy. However, I do have to work. I gotta unplug this stuff here. Okay. So I'm gonna put the hat on the snowman. First, before I do that, I'm gonna get my. So another thing you're gonna you need is some e. Uh, how many? What's the number? I forget. Hang on a second. I'm trying to get into this my drawer here. Oh, I've got a hanging thing here. E6000 glue. I'm going to need that. E6000. Okay, so, but first we're going to put this on my snowman. So, <clears throat> here's this cute face. So I want this sort of to be off-centered. So what I did is I started the hat here. So where I have my Chanel stems, I'm just going to feed this through 
the little holes. This is where you can struggle a little bit. Feed this through. I like to put it on the two bottom ones, not the top one. That's just my choice. You don't have to do what I say. Just do what you want. Put that one in. So once I know what these are securely in, I just give it a light twist. I haven't twisted it right down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. So now I'm just going to take this. And I think by losing that one or sorry, two inches or so off this top of it, this makes it really easy to fit it down onto your wreath. Okay. So then you come over. Come down, and I'll, yes, I'll show you what it looks like at the bot when I'm done from the back, and put this down. And I'll tell you how many I've gone over, okay? And then once you've got all of that in there, you just snug it down on the back, and I'll show you. Give me a sec. You know what? I think I'm going to go to the, on this one, I think I might go to the top two on this side. That'll make his hat a little bit more off-center, which is kind of what I want. So I'm going to pull this one out and go into the middle and then the top. So middle, hole, and then the top one. And you just have to spread your mesh to find it. Okay. This can be a challenge because there's a whole lot of stuff in that hole. All right. Here we go. We got her. And this one came out, of course. So, feed this back into this one. There we go. Okay. So then, just tighten this down. And I'll show you what it looks like at the back. Give me a minute. Did you oh no, I cut the hat, honey. I cut the hat. And then you can just fluff this stuff up. I'll fix all this in a second, okay? So then you're going to turn this over. Here's my Chanel stems that I fed through. So all you want to do is cut a little bit of this off. Don't want to use my good scissors. Just cut this piece and cut this piece. <clears throat> cut this one and this one. And just feed these through the holes back into the hat. Once again, it's really important that, especially if you're selling these, that you don't want anything that's going to scratch someone's door. All right. So now I'm going to fix this to the back of the wreath so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll show you the front. So you can take a piece of tape and just put a piece of tape there and hold this in place. If you want to, you don't have to. So on this, there's like an arrow. That's where you pull this off to change your batteries. You want to make sure that that's up, that you're not going to be gluing that part down. So then I just take my E6000, and yes, I have used hot glue to put this down. It won't, and for some reason, it's not as it won't stay. This stuff it ain't going anywhere, my friends. All right, so you just put your E6000 on here, and you don't need a lot of this. Just hold it there, and where I like to put it is right underneath where it says unique in the creek and I want it to be right on like lined up here so that does take some time to set 
But what I do is just take uh, some of this and fix it down so while I'm working on it and fluffing it, it's not going anywhere. Right? And then I'll just take this tape off once this is set. All right? So that's what the back of my wreath looks like. All right? Look. That's the back. So here's my Chanel stems for the hat. These are the tie wraps that are going around. This is my battery pack. Right? So nothing's going to scratch. Nothing. All right? Give me a second to fluff them. Oh my gosh, she's cute. All right. Just kind of play with it until you've got everything the way you want it. And this, my friends, little fray, is my completed snowman. What do you think? What do you think, guys? <laughs> I know he's adorable. Adorable. So I'm going to turn the lights on so you can see. There's his lit. His little face is lit up. <laughs> I know he's so cute. I love him. Love him. Uh, and I, I don't like anything about winter. Nothing about winter. <clears throat> uh, stinking cute. Like, truly, truly. So we're at ten, uh, an hour and 13 minutes to make this, all right? So thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me for an hour and 13 minutes. I'm going to shut his lights off. Um, but you know what? I know. It's not good. Yeah, I'm going to do a random draw. And anybody that commented before I finish this wreath, you're going to name is going to go into a draw, and I'm going to pull a name, and somebody is going to win it. Just because that's how I'm feeling on this blustery, rainy day in London, Ontario, Canada. Right? Who wants this sweet snowman? Show me some love, people. <laughs> So, next week, God, uh, oh, look at the hearts, God, look, you guys are awesome. So, next Sunday, love him, I am going to take this sign, beach, it's upside down, I know, sorry, beach, I'm going to put it on a wreath. Oh, you love Albert, I love Albert too, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, so that's for next Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Make sure you're here. Hey, if you haven't done it already, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and like. I'd appreciate that. You give them a good home. Albert needs a good home. I should name number them. Albert 1, Albert 2. Every one that I sell, I could get up to Albert 100. Oh, that's awesome, guys. I'm glad. You live at the beach, Colleen. Awesome. What size board? Uh, it's a character board from Unique in the Creek. Me, please. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for today. I got stuff I need to do, but thanks for hanging out with me and Lexi today. Make sure you go find my cat. Um, and until then, be safe, everybody out there. We're going to, to number three this week. Like, seriously. We're coming almost back to number, to, to normal. Um, uh, so take care. Love you all. Bye now.